Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Force here with some more Hearthstone gameplay. Today we are going to be taking another look at the Miracle Mage deck. Uh, my opening hand here, I'm actually a little bit on the fence about the Ice Lance and the Gadgetron Auctioneer. As lovely as the Auctioneer is, I don't necessarily want him in my opening hand. So we're going to dump him out, we're going to keep the Blood Mage and the Mirror Image, and hopefully we get some spell damage, and we did, so this is actually very, very nice. Uh, because what we will do is we'll open up with the Blood Mage, and yes, yeah, it's not so bad. At this point, could have really used that auctioneer. It's okay. Um, I, I just I, I didn't want to get that first thing. I wanted to wait until sort of I filled up my hand a bit, and and you know it doesn't even even having it on turn five doesn't do me much good. Oh, that's kind of a bummer. Um. I not actually. I actually don't know if arcane missiles can hit that. I th think that they can, though. So I'm gonna give this a shot because it's randomized. It's not directly targeting, and they can. And we got the extra spell power from the blood mage Thanos, which, do which doesn't add damage, but adds a uh, a fourth missile to the arcane missiles. Uh, so that worked out perfectly. I, I thought that's how it worked because it wasn't. You can't directly target the fairy dragon, but. Since that's a randomized ability, that actually works out in my favor. So fantastic. And we're going to be able to start doing a little bit of damage. Never mind. Here comes the 2-1 right into our face. We get a card draw off of that. And now at this point, I am pretty much just probably playing super passively. I'm considering playing the Sorcerer's Apprentice. I think I will, but I'm, I'm not going to play anything beyond that. I don't plan to play any of these spells unless it's absolutely necessary to remove creatures of his um, probably just swinging with the apprentice and now if you're wondering why would you put out the apprentice there he could pick it off with direct damage or do something like what you just saw uh, well the the thing is even though these things are valuable and I would like to hold on to them, I also just can't sit on my entire hand the entire game and this forces him to use removal. Now, he hasn't used directly removal, but he's traded away creatures to get rid of some of my creatures. And arguably, of course, the creatures he's thrown away have been less valuable than the ones that I have lost. Um, fearful of another charge, I'm actually, I am going to throw down this mir mirror image. I guess that's something that, I honestly, I just didn't expect him to be playing with a ton of charges. This is not a paladin deck that I've seen uh, recently. He's already thrown two charges in play. That really completely unexpected, to be honest with you. Maybe that's something that's pretty big in the metagame right now. I just, I haven't come across it very much. So, it is what it is, though. I did end up losing the, the Apprentice. As sad as that is. Okay, now at this point, ooh, we could go with another Apprentice. I worry about Consecration, though, so maybe I'm just going to, I'm going to sit on this second Apprentice here. Uh, but I can take care of some of his stuff. Uh, now, I could directly ping them. But instead of doing that, I'm just going to use one spell. I'm going to hold on to some of my spells for later in the game. I'm going to just use one spell to do that. And then I am going to... ping this with damage for this turn. So I'm trying to hold on to my spells to pump up things like the Questing Adventurer in upcoming turns. Or potentially... This direct damage with a hammer of wrath. This game's really not going my way. <laughs> uh, I, I preferred it for a questing adventurer or a gadgets and auctioneer. That's basically what I'm thinking. I got no another mana worm, so I am actually going to go with that. And then what I'm going to do is we will hit this, and this turn I'm going to throw down a frostbolt. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of on the fence as to how I feel about this deck, by the way. And I'm not just saying that because of how this first game has been going, but I'm just... I, I don't know. I just don't know. It, it, you know, it's surrounded around the the gimmick, if you will, of pumping up questing adventurers and mana worms, and then there's also the card draw mechanic. Oh, good lord. Um, there's also the card draw mechanic. That hurts so bad literally got rid of all my creatures. The card draw mechanic uh, from the Gadget and Auctioneer and all of your spells, but 
Just overall, I don't know how I feel about the deck. I don't know that I necessarily think it's that great. I mean, I could still win this game. It's not completely unfathomable, but... We'll, we'll see, we'll see. I guess that's why we're here, right? Testing the deck out, playing a few games for you guys. Well, that is immediately terrifying. Um, let me think about what I want to do here. I might just buy myself a little bit of time with a Frost Nova. But that's the thing, you know, I'm just, I've got this control, I'm buying myself time, but at the same time, I'm not really doing much either. I mean, I still haven't taken much damage, so I guess it's, you know, so, something positive's happened. And he is, he, he, admittedly, he does have less health than me right now, but I still don't think that's an indicator. Everyone charge from him. Gonna be able to cone of cold, and that's the great thing about this deck is you do get to buy yourself a ton of time with all the free spells and everything that it, it's got going on. Go with this. See what we draw into. We draw into another cone of cold. Okay, I think cone of cold will be the play right now. We're gonna put it here. It's gonna spread out its damage just like that. And now that guy's at three. I could just go with that right now, but I'm gonna actually hold off. We're gonna just ping that. And then we are going to pass the turn once again. Ooh, he's wasting a Hammer of Wrath on a 1-2. That's actually fine by me. Reporting for duty. That is absolutely fine by me. And we've gone through half of our deck and we still haven't drawn into our Auctioneer. I know it was in my opening hand, but it wasn't necessarily something I wanted right then. Okay, this will be a pretty good turn. Can we dump everything on this? I think we can. I think I probably will at this point. Okay. So we're going to dump everything to pump that bad boy up. We're go with this. Going to get go with this. And in case he has another charge, I, as much as I would like to save this for the inevitable upcoming draw of an auctioneer, in case, well, you know, I, I do need to hold on to that because if I, I, I only have one card in my hand now, so. If I draw an auctioneer, I need, I need some spell to play with it. So I'd have to wait on an Auctioneer and then the drawing of another spell in order for it to come into effect, and that's not really something I want to do. I feel like he should be pretty safe at a 5-5, five five, with the exception, of course, of a Silence or something Squire, that he attention. could have. Ready, sir. Not yet, at least. Reporting for duty. And now I'm sort of in a tough spot. Well, we have this. Let's throw him in play. 6-6, six, six. get the card draw. Auctioneer, beautiful. It's exactly, exactly what I was looking for. Let's put our taunts in play. There we go, that's good. Okay, now, throw away the apprentice in order to get rid of that, and then take out the 4-4, four, four, I think. I think that's what I, I, I think that's kind of what I need to do. Yeah. So that's okay. We're, we're, we're going to get rid of the Apprentice. At this point, I'm not going to be, you know, I think that's fine because I really need to clear his board. I've got a bunch of very threatening creatures in play at this point. An Auctioneer and a Zordrake and the Questing Adventurer. That's, uh, I mean, the two biggest targets would be a Questing Adventurer or a Auctioneer for any silences that he may have. Consecration right now would do pretty well. Handle it. Is this it? Not on no. Just getting a divine shield for that. Okay. So he's gonna hit into this. Reporting for two. So we have eight. We have got sixteen damage in our hand. This is not enough. Oh, sixteen. Plus the seven. Ugh. 
All right, we play this. There's nine, uh, seventeen plus set. <laughs> Are you serious? All right, here it is. This is rather hilarious, actually. Quest accepted. Wow. A game that started off pretty rough. I feel like that's that's how this deck plays, huh? Ended up pulling out the victory. <laughs> uh, would you look at that? Kind of unbelievable. But that, my friends, was game number one. Really, I can't believe that we won that game. I, I'm actually pretty happy with this hand, so we're gonna keep it. I can't believe that... <laughs> it just, it started off so poorly, and then we ended up pulling out the victory. I, I mean, it is a it is a slow roll deck. It's a deck that is supposed to take longer to get things working, you know what I mean? Okay, so I could coin Apprentice Arcane Missiles, probably just want to guarantee this thing dies though so what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna coin into frost mode. just don't want that thing in play as you can see clearly I am playing against another mage and I just really you know he could have potentially played two spells this turn or to pump that up to three damage and it's just, it's just something that needs to die that's all and if I played a creature, it would have obviously died. He would have gotten targeted from any of his hate. I'm probably, gonna, I'm still gonna play a Thalnos uh, because even if he pings it off, I still get the card draw. That's probably not worth it entirely. So actually, I may sit on it. Mm. Yeah, there's a. Well, come on, what are you doing? There you go. Click that. Pass it on over. Yeah, that's probably not worth it. At the very least, I should wait if he plays another creature, Thalnos, and then Arcane Missiles. It is an early game play typically though, because of the fact that you're trying to... This is an interesting position. Yeah, I guess that's Thalnos and just keep my fingers crossed that the RNG gods take him out. Even if they don't, if I get at least three damage, if I get three damage, yeah, it's not gonna happen. Take him out. Well, it's okay. I brought him down to that, so I will be able to kill it coming up if he. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. I mean, if he has any direct damage in his hand, this thing's screwed. Even an arcane missiles guarantee that will hit it, and, or he can just do that. They're doing another Arcane Missiles, which is good. Here's his Arcane Missiles going straight for my face. Do I let it live for another turn, though? To get the Arcane Intellect? Well, no, I can Missiles, too. So, yeah, let me do this. We're gonna Sorcerer's Apprentice, which allows me to card draw. That's a new addition to this deck. I actually took uh, took out something that I thought wasn't quite as good. Come on, oh no. That's too bad. Oh well. He gets a spell power for one more turn. Uh, I ended up taking out the net, net Paggle because I just don't think it's, I think the Arcane Intellect probably works better. I, I just don't know. Nat's, he's just not that great of a card. After after playtesting him for a little bit, I just don't think he's that good of a card, to be honest with you. I think this turn, we could go with that, or we could just go the double Novice Engineer, which I actually, I like that better at this point. I don't want this to get hit with a fireball on his next turn. I hope you like my invention. Job's done. Hmm, Questing Adventure, very nice. I like that. I'll probably play the Azor Drake first I'll never tell. to try to bait. Ah, I hope that's not a counter spell. That really pissed me off. Um, I hope. I think I'm playing this first to try to bait his. Ooh, there's the auctioneer. I should play it when I can get at least one thing off of it, though. Hmm. Well, if I d 
do this, that's only a 2-3. I could also freeze his minion. That's not, I'm not so worried about that, though. Unless he plays another secret next turn. Which I'm guessing since he this is a I'm guessing this is a secret deck, right? So I should probably get rid of that. Ay 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 ay. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of that now. Actually, that's gonna be my priority. And then nothing? Do I do nothing? Ah, uh, yeah, I don't want to play this yet until I can pump it up. So we're gonna we're gonna do nothing. I'd rather play. Hey, this is a super secret deck. Holy heck! I'm concerned that's a counter spell. So instead of fireballing, I'm gonna frost nova. Okay, it's not a counter spell. Well, that's good. And then what I can do... I can Ice Lance that, but I'm thinking of playing this first. Give me a quest. Let's see if it's a mirror image. Looks like it is a mirror image. Give me a quest. Um, shoot. Well, now I'm thinking I need to get rid of this. Ice Lance isn't going to touch it, though. So, I might just Frost Nova a second time. I... So that he doesn't kill this with that next turn. Ah, shoot. That's not guaranteed, though. Because he could kill this with a spell next turn. Alright, I'm going to take the guaranteed damage. There we go. I'm gonna take the guaranteed damage. I got the best deals anyway. Auctioneer, he's gonna be able to play a couple spells. Oh, this is a frightening turn. Okay. Let's see here. Cone of Cold, that's actually pretty huge. Another one? That's hilarious. Well, what we're gonna do is I think we're gonna go with this. Freeze him across the board. Job's done. Just to let this thing live. Hopefully. Hopefully let it live. Well, this is a definitely a scary looking game. <laughs> this is not looking good for me. Not even remotely. You know, take Dear Lord. <laughs> oh, this game. Please don't kill the auctioneer. For the love of God, please don't kill the auctioneer. Oh, thank the Lord. Jeez. Jeez, jeez, jeez. Okay, well, this is a pretty scary turn. I'm gonna get some card draws, though, so I'm actually just gonna go with the Cone of Cold first. Right here. I didn't- I don't want to play this first because I want to see what I get for card draws. I'm gonna go... Because I'm hoping for a Flame Strike, although I can't play that anymore. Let's go with... I'm gonna go with this. I'm just going for the card draws, I guess, at this point. I could have played this for the extra spell damage, obviously, but... And then... Frostbolt. Or we can play this. Oh. 
We're gonna go with this, and we're gonna go with a mirror image. And then we're gonna attack. Oh boy, that's, that's a huge draw. That is a huge draw. Oh my. This could potentially work out for me. As unbelievable as that sounds, this could potentially work out for me. I'm gonna have to burn through those secrets, though. Shoot. Well, he can't play two counter spells, so. Oh no. That sucks. A lot. Oh, that sucked a lot. I really, hmm. Okay, let's see here. Is he hitting me with five? Yikes. That's really scary. And then four to the face. Okay, I just have to hope this isn't a counterspell. If it's a counterspell, I'm screwed. If it's not, I actually might win. I have no choice but to do both of these, though, because I don't have enough mana to do it any other way. So here we go. Please don't be a counterspell. It is not. Here is the flame strike for four. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I still lose, but the fact that that worked out for me. <laughs> oh my, that's crazy. That is mighty crazy. Secrets. Jeez, this guy, so many. Oh, I'm so screwed. The game's over. The game is super over. But that was a really funny turn, was it not? Okay. Get okay, do five, six, seven. Card draw. I'm gonna be dead, though. Now right, we're gonna try this. I got the best deals anywhere. I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm dead, but that's just, <laughs> this is a pretty funny game, if nothing else. That's seven damage, yeah, that's the game. Oh, well, that was fun nonetheless. Kind of crazy. Kind of a little crazy. That's, that's a good game. Yeah, sure, I'll give you a well played. Ah, I'm too late. Oh, well, whatever. GG. Let us go ahead and wrap things up with a quick refresher of the deck list. Two arcane missiles, two ice lances, a couple mirror image. These all low casting cost spells to help trigger my other cards here in the deck. Uh, I've got the Mana Worm, one of the cards triggered off of casting stuff. Uh, Frost Nova, good control, Frostbolt, control plus damage. Blood Mage Thalnos, I uh, get that extra damage plus the Death Rattle of drawing a card. Novice Engineer for card draw. Two Sorcerer's Apprentice to reduce the cost of your spells. Turn those one cast into zero cast. Uh, Arcane Intellect, this is what is replacing the Nat Paggle, which I traditionally had uh, in the deck list there. At least that was in the original deck list from Hearth Pwn. Uh, Cone of Cold for the control plus damage questing adventurer for the plus one plus one off of playing stuff. It's basically what the deck is centered around that plus the mana worm plus the gadget and auctioneer. Uh, we have got a couple fireballs for damage, Azor Drake, spell power plus card draw and a nice 4 4 creature. Auctioneer for the drawing of plentiful cards. Flame Strike for some mass damage. And then lastly, the Archmage, because he's hilarious. It's 5-7, fireballs happen. Pretty funny. All right, guys, that's going to do it. Thanks so much for watching here this gameplay video, taking another look at the Miracle Mage deck. I, once again, I'm not so sure how I feel about the deck. I think it's okay, but nothing fantastic. Uh, I don't know. It's all right. It's an okay deck. All right, thanks so much for watching, guys. If you like the content, please subscribe. And as always, keep watching and keep owning.